Home button not working on iPhone 7 software workaround. iOS has a neat feature that helps when hardware buttons stop working. To activate this, go to the Settings app, and select General, then Accessibility. Scroll down to the Interaction section, and tap Assist of Touch. Now tap the button next to Assist of Touch so that it turns green and slides to the On position. Here's what it looks like in iOS. We've turned it on above, which means you can see the little Assist of Touch button at the bottom right. We'll explain what it can do in a moment. This process was very slightly different in older versions of iOS. If you're still running my OS 6, for example, there can't be many of you left. You'll need to go to Settings, General, and scroll down to Accessibility. Under Physical and go to click Assistive Touch, and then slide Assistive Touch into the on position. A small circle inside a square will appear on your screen. This can be dragged around the screen to wherever you find it least disruptive. It will become opaque when pressed, then turn transparent if left alone for a short while. Tapping the button gives you six options, Home, Siri, Custom, Notification Center, Device, and Control Center, and between them they should allow you to accomplish anything for which you used the hardware home button, and the other hardware buttons too, for that matter. Home, Siri, Notification Center, and Control Center are self-explanatory, Custom lets you set up your own gestures and actions, you get pinch, double tap, and 3D touch by default, and device leads you to further options such as volume controls, mute, rotate screen and lock screen, tap more for still further options, including, brilliantly, screenshot, although annoyingly it's very difficult to screenshot the feature itself, since it dutifully moves itself out of the way before snapping the picture. In older versions of iOS a single press of the button used to give you just voice control, home, and favorites options. Favorites allowed you to save specific gestures and commands, just like custom in iOS 9. Then as now, device took you through to further options such as volume controls. The dot on your screen can be a little irritating, granted, but it may well be preferable to either shelling out for a costly repair or coping without a fully functional home button. Hope this helped. If you still have issues, do let us know in the comments below.